at the most basic level, at the consumer level, there was concern as to what they might do to everyone's much-loved Cadbury Dairy Milk recipe. Would they change it? Sir Dominic Cabra's landmark lecture pinpointed the importance of ownership, values and rules surrounding free markets during the US food giant Kraft's takeover of Cadbury. It's a story which not only attracted headlines worldwide, but also now offers key contemporary considerations for business and policy makers in the future. Speaking ahead of Birmingham Business School's advisory board meeting, Sir Dominic told a lecture theatre packed with students, alumni and academics that the role of hedge funds, after only minor changes to the rules, mean other British companies remain vulnerable to hostile takeover bids, sharing his personal insight to benefit students and business. Business does involve a lot of complicated decisions and that just thinking about increasing the profit of course it's important, but it's not the be-all and end-all. There are an awful lot of other things that go to make a great business and that went to make a great business in Canberra. The unique insight into how the door was open to Kraft's takeover provides a rich seam of knowledge as a case study across different disciplines for Birmingham Business School. I think it was a fascinating study in takeovers. It raised a whole load of issues about how vulnerable Cadbury was to take over, the short-termism uh, of the market, whether there needs to be put in place extra defences for companies and the role of public policy. It also raises issues about the strategy of the company that left it vulnerable to take over in the first place. So all those things came together in this very rich case study of a company which is much loved by many people. Meeting the ethical concerns of global business is another way in which the Cadbury case study is contributing to the knowledge of Birmingham students entering the world of international business. I think what this does, having a case study like Cadbury and Kraft, not only in terms of the takeover, but also both of these companies have very strong uh, ethical credentials. And the fact that global business ethics is a module here and the fact that this is going to be more embedded in the decision making that students have to make, ethical considerations and ethical dilemmas are key now for business makers and business personnel going forward. And what they're going to have to do is draw on their own experience here, which I think is unique and it does give them that competitive edge. American Craft was criticised for its handling the takeover irresponsibly and unwisely in a report from the government's business committee. The development of a Cadbury's law to guard against further hedge fund driven takeovers is still a possibility, giving a further contemporary twist to Sir Dominic's lecture. Britain is the place to invest in the world after America. I mean, we're number two in the world, we're number one in Europe by a country mile. One of the reasons is that we do have an open market where Cadbury can be bought. But what we've got to do is, in unison with some of our international colleagues, say, by all means, if you buy the shares and sell them quickly, no problem, you can have your gain, but what you won't have is a vote. You will not have the ability to say yes or no to the sale or purchase. In other words, you'll go with the flow. I think that they were worn down, actually. This was nine months after the ori original hostile bid. And I think, in the end, they just threw the town in. And I think, if, you know, we do need to make changes in, in the law. I think it does need to be compressed, the whole takeover process. Really relevant, really contemporary, how learning fits in with the real world, and actually how the real world feeds back into academia. It really is a two-way street, and I think the advisory board are very keen on that. You know, we, are, we care as much about the academic side as we do about the real business world, and I think that is unique. What the Cadbury's takeover showed very clearly is that Britain is one of the most open markets in the world. In fact, that's one of our greatest strengths, that we are one of the most open markets in the world, which is why I think London, in spite of the credit crunch, in spite of the Great Recession, in spite of the global financial crisis, London is still, in my view, the number one leading global financial center because we are so open. Students too recognise the importance of this lecture and its significance to some of today's business issues. I think we're, we're very lucky to have a lecture like that because I do think in a sense there's only so much you can learn in a classroom and I think um, having someone in, in such an esteemed position speak to us about their experiences, um, in this case with Cadbury and Kraft, uh, qualifies us much more to go into the world of work I think with a, 
a wider perspective on how these things work. This is just another example of how the UK don't have such tight regulation rules, whereas in France this kind of thing wouldn't happen. And I do think it has and will have a really big damaging impact on the UK economy. From enriching academic study and research to sparking key debates for business and industry, advisory board lectures continue to raise the mark of academic excellence and business relevance. Hazel Westwood, Birmingham Business School.